Okay, so I bound my OBA transmitter to the uh, UDR and the receiver that I was using to test everything, which is right, it's the same exact receiver. What is it, 6533? As what's already in the UDR. See if I can focus. Yeah, 6533. So I've got everything as you could see connected in the receiver. So the sound control module, the OBA sound control module, connects to the ESC. And then the adapter that Jules had me make, which is a male JST, that is a male Futaba servo connector, plugs into the channel one port but it's the two of one like the this one's the one which is the steering servo this is the special adapter then it's the gray onboard audio adapter Let's see if i can and then it's the green one there we go so you can see there's two well maybe you can see there's two channel ones. So at any rate, everything works. And I got my battery plugged in. And that's not even turned up. That's just the speakers from the radiator that I installed. That's full blast. So that's full blast. You can hear it go through the gears. And I've got two more speakers in the in the uh, in so that's not even half the sound. So yeah, I've got power, I can turn that on, turn it off. Everything works like it should, so now it's just a matter of cleaning it all up. I've got the um, new brake discs and calipers on there. So those look good, and what else did I do? Oh, I put some Fox stickers on the shocks. So I'm going to put some mud guards on the back. What I noticed, I did put the tape to vent the holes, I always do that. It's funny because Kevin Talbot, he does the same thing. I've been doing that. I did it from the first day I got my X-Max. It, it's perfect. There's, I don't know why guys keep those holes open because the junk gets in there and ruins the tires and sponge and then they rip even faster. But you know what I was wondering is there is a number, Let's see if the camera can, oh, you know what? Let me turn this off. I definitely don't need that running. Uh, I'm going to pause. Okay, so what I was saying is that on each tire, I called Traxxas. Let me do autofocus. And um, no, I guess I still got to. There we go. That one has number two. And then this one. As number one and what's interesting is that on the back the spares they just said it was a stamping they, the first guy I talked to was super nice Traxxas tech supports awesome by the way I mean no one gives them enough credit oh there it is so this is stamp number one um, on the back spares one the stamped one and one is two. I don't think it was sorted different. So I'm going to put the ones, I don't know. It's, it doesn't mean anything. According to Traxxas, they said it was just, that's the way they were 
marked when, in their molds or something. And it doesn't have anything to do with the traction. Like the X-Max, you have to per put the tires a certain way um, so that they're facing the right way. But that's not the case with this. These are all interchangeable. But just to keep track of the tires, I'm going to keep ones in the front, twos in the back. But man, this project, I mean, there's another video that I show. This interior is way louder. This is, I mean, you heard it. This is, this is like the slash. Put, I put speakers in the radiator. I've got other videos that'll kind of explain this. So I've got all kinds of pictures and videos along the way. So what I did is, um, I put the speakers this way. I know that kind of looks all jerry-rigged. That was my first one. And this is my second one. It's a little bit cleaner. And man, is this loud. So, of course, with all four speakers, you're going to get double the sound. But just it bouncing off the Lexan is, is always louder. And I did put Lexan in the radiator fans. But it's muffled, so it's, it's loud. It's about as loud as a slash. Um, but that alone, I, I didn't, I wasn't satisfied with it being full blast. This thing is a ear piercing now when you do, I mean, I don't need it full blast, but I just want it louder. So that if I'm out far in some field or something, I can hear it. And this thing is loud. So I can't wait to test everything. I'm not completely out of the woods yet because I need to make sure when it's running the power through the ESC that it doesn't have signal issues or with the servo i don't have turning issues which would indicate there's a power issue running all of this through the esc's bec but with this setup i don't need an external battery it's running it off of the esc with that simple little uh adapter that uh jules suggested i make then i found that they have these on AliExpress, so I ordered a few of those. That one I made myself, and then I got some other projects. So if this thing works like it should, I don't need to, if I do need to take a, another step where it's, the power is too much, I can put an external BEC, which plugs into the open port receiver. I've got two open ports. And then just mount that, like, double side tape. It's a small little module like right here, which is better than mounting a battery. And that should work. Worst case, I would have to get a battery and I'd probably put it right there. But Jules said he doesn't think it needs it because this ESC has got equal, if not greater amount uh, to absorb than the slash ESC, of course. And the slash ESC, this is the official slash onboard audio ESC. It's an XL5. And what they do is, uh, geez, I can always, there we go. Yeah, this is really, there we go. They have the wire here for the onboard audio. So instead, um, that ESC doesn't have it. And this adapter fixes everything. Like you can have some aftermarket ESC. This thing works with onboard audio. That's the beauty of this. What Jules came up with eliminates this wire and you having to tap into the BEC. Now it's running through the receiver. The receiver runs through the BEC just the same. If you have sound, the onboard audio set up for Traxxas, it works on any vehicle, any receiver, any ESC. It's not now proprietary for just Traxxas. This opens it wide open and you're not even, it's using the power that's built into the, B, the ESC, the BEC that's in the ESC. That makes sense. I think that's how it all works. <laughs> At any rate, it works. And it's just awesome. I mean, this Traxxas has the mounts. This is probably for uh, someone wanted to add like GPS, but all the GPS, the LED light module, the sound control modules, they're all the same size so that they're all, you can put them anywhere. 
So, I mean, come on, this looks the part. This looks like fat. Yeah, my cell phone cuts off after 10 minutes, but like I said, it looks the part. It looks like it's factory made and uh, because most of it is. And then all I'm doing is bypassing, not having to tap into the ESC's power, not have, having to have an external battery. It's one simple wire. I'm, I'm serious. That's, that's all it is. It's a male JST to a male servo plug. They call it Futaba or JR. That's it. Male, male goes receiver into the soundboard module and then it's running off of the ESC. So star wide shot and we are now out. So far so good.